Well, hello. I'm Noah from the Disruptive Media Learning Lab, and I want to tell you a little bit more about badges. Now, if you're watching this video, maybe you've earned a badge, and you're not really sure what to do with it. It's is this just like a like a picture that you put on places? Does it matter? Is it worth anything? And what digital badges are? Are there these micro credentials that show that you've done a little bit of something, and you can kind of piece them together, and it shows employers and collaborators that you might work with what you're about, what you've kind of done, what your experience is, and they're all verifiable, so somebody can click into a badge and see exactly what you did to earn it. They can understand all the criteria that went behind it, and they know that you've earned this badge and not anyone else. So it's a little bit more than just a sticker. Digital badges are a great way to show what you've done and to kind of tell your story in a new and interesting way. Now, if you want to know more about digital badges generally, um, I recommend you come over to badges.coventry.domains, this website here, and just from the homepage, you can learn more about what digital badges are, um, who's using them, what you kind of do with them. Read through that page for, for earners if you've earned a badge, and you'll get, you'll get more of an idea of what it's about. But let's say that you've got a badge now. Where does it live, and, and how do you share it? What do you do with it? So what I would do is come over to this website here. All, all your badges will live on this platform, Badger. That's B-A-D-G-R. Um, so if you come to badger.com, you'll see, you'll see this thing. And here's where you can find everything that you've earned. Um, at the top, you'll see a button to sign in. So you click on that and you sign in. And then you can look for backpack at the top. And this is your backpack. These are all the badges that you've earned from everywhere in the university. And even issuers outside of the university can issue open badges and they can all be hosted in your backpack in Badger. So let's say that you've recently been awarded a badge. You've got an email that says, congratulations, you've got a badge. And you're wondering what to do with it. So here in Badger, I've got a couple of badges. Uh, one of them, we'll pick this one on the left. This is the CGE Virtual World Tour. So this is a badge that's issued by um, COIL, the Collaborative Online International Learning. It's part of Coventry University. Um, and you want to share it. So there's a few things that you can do. Um, first of all, explore the badge. So if we click into this, you can see what the badge is about. You can learn out some of the background. You can see what criteria you need to earn the badge. And when you share this with people, they'll be able to see this exact same criteria and they'll understand what your badge is about too. So you've got a few options for how you might share one of these badges. So over here on the right, I've got some options for sharing. Now, I can just take the link and I can insert that somewhere. We'll look at what you do with that. There's some social sharing options, so sharing it to your social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. And you can do an HTML thing, so you can actually embed, take this code and embed it onto a website somewhere. Like if you have Coventry Domains as a portfolio, you can embed this and it will show up there. So just to show you a few, for example, if I wanted to do this as a social media post, um, I can click on that social sharing, and maybe I want to share this to LinkedIn this way. Um, if I just click LinkedIn, now your may have a pop-up blocker that pops out, so I'm just going to allow pop-ups and then just see what that does. And here we get the option to share this as a post in LinkedIn. Now, if I share it as a post on LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever, it'll kind of appear in my feed, and then after a while it'll go away again. And that's okay, you might want to do that just to say, hey, look, I recently earned this. And that's great. People looking back to your, your history could see that you're excited about what you participated in. So, so definitely do that. But if we want to share this in a more permanent way, we don't just want to do a one-time post. It would be great if we could take this badge and make it part of our profile on LinkedIn. It's a little bit more professional. So the way we do that is we're going to get this link instead. So we need this link here to share. So I'm going to copy that copy it. And I'm going to keep this page open because I want to refer to it in a second. So over on LinkedIn, once you're signed in, once you're on your profile, look for this Add Profile section, and we want licenses and certifications. So if I go to that, I can enter in a new license or a certification. Now, I just copied that URL from Badger, and at the bottom, the credential URL, that's where I'm going to paste it. So you paste it at the bottom there. Now, the rest of it you have to fill out. So over here we've got a CG Virtual World Tour. That was the name of the badge, so I'm going to pop that in there. The organizing issuer, you can go ahead and put in uh, Coventry University, if it was through Coventry University program. And then you just put in when you've got it. So let's say I've got this in May 2021. 
if it expires, you can say it expires. If it doesn't, you can just leave that blank. And you don't have to put in the credential ID, you can. Um, technically, it's this bit after the slash, where you see lots of numbers after this assertions, and then slash all the way up until the question mark. You don't need to put that in, so I'm just going to leave that blank. Uh, and then I'll click Save. So now, when I scroll down to my licenses and certifications, um, I've got uh, CGE World Tour from Coventry University, and if somebody wants to know what is that, they can click on it, they can click See Credential, and it takes them to my page on Badger. It says this has been awarded to me, so everybody will see it's been awarded to Noah Mitchell, and it tells people what this badge is about, so it gives them just a little bit more detail of what's gone into earning the badge. So you can add things to your LinkedIn profile, you can show them as social media posts, which is also great, and one other thing you might want to do is you might want to get the certificate. Um, so if you want to print a PDF of the badge as a certificate, that's great. Or sometimes maybe you're required to get a certificate to take part in certain courses. Uh, you can do that too through Badger. So if I'm back on my badge, instead of clicking share, uh, this time I want to click print certificate. And what it does is it just takes your badge information and it kind of translates this into an A4 uh, certificate that you can save as a PDF. Uh, or you could print and hang on your wall, and you can have a wall full of your different credentials that you've earned. Uh, it says that you've done the work, you've completed it, it gives you the name of the badge, uh, who issued it within the university and the date. And every way you do a certificate, you can also get a, it always comes with a QR code that you can scan, uh, so somebody can actually look at the data online and see what you did during the badge. Uh, so to print this off, you could just click print. And from here, um, you could do control P, on a Windows machine or Command P on a Mac, and you can get ready to print off the certificate. Now, I don't want to print it, I'd rather have this as a PDF, so instead I'll just click at the top and all the destination will change to save to PDF. Uh, and you can give the file, uh, well, you just click save, uh, and you can name your file, you know, like my awesome badge, something. Something like that. And there we go. So we've got a saved PDF of the badge. So those are a few things you can do with your badges. You can share them as a one-time social media post, add them to your LinkedIn profile, which is definitely recommended. Uh, or you can come over here and save them as a PDF uh, or print off the certificates. So there's a few things that you can do with your badges. We ex uh, encourage you to explore the uh, badges website just to get a better idea of what a badge is and, and who's using them, uh, why they're cool and why they matter, and, and just, uh, just explore, have fun, and go out there and earn loads of badges. If you have any questions, you can come over to badges.coventry.domains, and at the bottom of the site there's a contact form. We'd be happy to help you out. Okay, uh, enjoy.